What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another 130 draft video. Um, guys, great day, isn't it? I got told off. Oh, man. I feel like we've broken up. Guys, I feel like we had a fight and broke up. There's a hole in my heart, thanks to you guys. Um, I'm going to choose the 41212 narrow for the first formation today. Uh, welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. I don't want to put Dirk Cow on the bench. Um, yeah, yesterday, it, like I, I, I don't know where it came from, right? But uh, over the last like two weeks, I'm getting very excited for FC25, and so I started starting my videos with "Today is a great day" because we are another day closer to FC25. And the top comment on one of my videos yesterday, which had like over a hundred thumbs up, was somebody telling me to shut up about FC25. I was like, oh damn. That was cold because I thought we I thought we had something going, you know. I, th I thought we were just enjoying the fact that we're a day closer to FC twenty five, but we we're, we're all, obviously I am, <laughs> but you guys aren't. Um, but the reason why, guys, the reason why, and listen, advice taken, advice applied, right? The reason why I feel like we've broken up today is because in yesterday's draft video. The top comment and more than one was about how you guys don't want to listen to me yapping and responding to the comments. You just want to see me talking about the draft. So fair enough. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. I, I will not respond to another comment for as long as I live. Um, yeah, so uh, listen, I apologize. Apologize for speaking. Sorry, I should have just kept drafting, shouldn't I? We will take Locatelli here. Um, he has got a center back position as well, but this draft. Is awful, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have taken Dirk Kout. Well, I like Kowalski, though. She's got centre mid and striker, which is good. But the truth is, guys, I am actually genuinely excited for FC25. Um, I, ha like, I, I was very excited for FC24 up until I had spoken to somebody who's a good friend of mine within the industry. Roberto Carlos is very nice. Um... And he had told me that basically FC24, other than Evolutions, was going to be much the same because EA needed like two or three years to make some significant changes. And so my excitement of FC24 dropped very quickly. What we're seeing for FC25, though, is not only a redo of Evolutions, which is going to be great in my opinion, but we're also seeing the FCIQ stuff come in which will make the game a little bit more, more like Football Manager. And, and it's one of those things for me. I won't, I won't go on too, too much, guys. Don't worry. It's one of those things for me where making the game a bit more like Football Manager will take away a lot of the frustrations of just plowing into games, winning or losing and getting frustrated or not. Because could you imagine like taking a team, losing to someone, but being like, oh, one of the things that I noticed is my left wing was constantly just out of play. So I'm going to change their tactics a little bit, change their FCIQ a little bit. Now, all of a sudden, they're playing inverted and they're involved more in the play. And you can actually build your team. And it's like, you can, like, I don't know that this is going to be the case. This is how I feel it's going to be, though, is I feel like you will finally be able to appreciate and understand what's wrong with what you're doing and where it's going wrong, rather than sitting there going, well, I don't know how I've lost that. Right, because how many times have we done that in the game where you've come out, you've lost to a guy, and you'll be like, I don't understand. Like, I don't even know what I did wrong. You know, like it's a skill issue, obviously. But you know, if if you take a if you lose in like a strategy game, or if you lose on like Counter Strike, or if you lose in League of Legends, you can isolate very easily where it re went wrong, why and how, and how to rectify it. But in a lot of the old FIFA games and FC twenty four, you can't isolate what went wrong because it could have easily, easily, easily been randomness that went wrong. Just as it as, as Megalin has got a CDM. He's got a center mid. Just as easily as it could have been complete skill issue, right? Um, and so I feel like FCIQ is going to allow us to tinker to adapt the game to how we specifically want to play it. And I'm kind of excited for that. I'm kind of excited for that. With that big. Yes, please. 99 sour. Um, the, uh, the other thing, obviously, that they've added in next year is Rush. 
which is kind of just like Volta, but just an ultimate team. Um, and I'm excited for that too. And so there's a lot for me personally that I'm really looking forward to for FC25. Declan Rice can go in. Um, yeah, there's a lot for me personally that I'm just really looking forward to. Um, so, and, and that's why I started almost daily saying great thing about today is we are another day closer to FC25 because I genuinely believed it. Anyway, we're not going to yap on about it anymore. Let's get Golovin into that cam roll. This draft rating is 92. We've got 97 Hernandez. I don't actually think he can get onto the team because I, th I think we lose chemistry if we take Roberto Carlos out. We do. I do need a better goalkeeper over Rulli. Rulli 81 thinks the place out. Nedved has got Cam. He also is better rated than Golovin. And he also may well allow us to put Hernandez in now without losing chemistry. We still lose one. We need one more icon in there to not lose Chem. Ideally a goalkeeper. EA. EA Sports. 98 Salaba, which now will allow us to put Hernandez in at left back. With no loss of chemistry. Thank you very much. We take those. Um, Cascante can get onto the bench over Dirk Kaut. He was our first, but not stay there. We're up to a 94 rated. This is a really cracking draft, to be fair. 98 and a 97. A 99 in there. Other than that, though, it's actually pretty stinky, isn't it? 96, Roberto Carlos on the bench. 91 rated goalkeeper. In goal is not ideal. Mohamed Salah. Just about squeezes onto the bench. I'd be very surprised if we could get this up to a 95. It would require a big goalkeeper to get this up to the 95. Don't do it. We get Vidic, 94. It's a small upgrade on Yashin, who is obviously a goalkeeper. We get Frankowski, 94, who is not an upgrade on Cafu. We get 94, Matthews Nunez, who is an upgrade on Urkan Kochi. And so we shall take him. We'll pop him in there. And then we'll pop Kochu onto the bench over Locatelli. And yeah, we don't get to the 95 because Rulli thinks a rating and chemistry. Let's get into attempt number two. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. All right, guys, here we go with attempt number two. Let's go for the, the 4 3 2 one. with how many center mids there are nowadays. I feel like we've got a good chance. I'm gonna go Pushkas here. Cruyff's got a 97 and a 98, whereas Pushkas has only got a 94 and a 96. Speaking of 96, we've got Papa. What a card, by the way. What a card. Oh. Zola, the draft killer. He is here. And that is why we will not see 99 Beckham or Putelas. Or Sauer or Pedri or any of the other 99 centre midfields there are. We get Braze Mendes instead. Great. Thanks for ruining that one, Zola. In at left back, 97 Cap de Vila. Not bad, not bad. He's only got left back and left wing back, but still not bad. And then we've got, uh, we'll take 90 Ruben Dish. I know uh, company gets better chemistry and the Ruben Dish has a higher rate card, but still. Uh, centre back number two is Eder Militao. And then in at right back. Nice. Jan Kuto. Good league links as well. Good Brazilian links as well. But not too shabby. We do need to address the midfield on this draft at the moment. We'll take uh, Paulo Victor or Vitor, sorry, uh, for those Brazilian links. We can't get Ronaldinho into the team, sadly. What we can get is 97 Schmeichel. Never mind. Edison is good, though. Edison gives a Ruben Diaz. Another little uh, chemistry boost. We're now one icon away from Ruben Dish getting that full chemistry. Mittelstadt will go on to the bench. Doesn't fit into the team. We do need some better midfielders, though. EA, we have got... N oh. What? Yesterday, guys. EA released 98 Calafiori SBC, and it just looks delightful. And, it, and, it, and we're going to go into a bit of story time here again. I don't play this game anymore to actually play the game. I will play the game to get some 
the FC25 content, but I don't play this game to play the game anymore. And isn't it funny that we spend all year building for a team that's like the best team, and now that the best possible Arsenal team is at my fingertips, I don't want to play. It's, it's just weird. It's just weird. We, will, of course, will take 99 Frimpong. It will go in over Jan Kuto. This is a good draft. We need to upgrade that midfield and, and front line a little bit, but otherwise, this is a good draft. Well, there's a little bit of an upgrade. Terra Abelera. I mean, we're going to swap her in instead of Brace Mendes. Oh, she might have centre back, actually. We've got Lars Ricken, who does have centre forward and centre mid, which is delightful. He will start for me in at centre mid. Does not. She only has CDM. That's too bad. And then we will get nothing up front. I've had enough. Had enough. Five more picks to go. Okay. Danisic has centre back, which is good for the chem and good for the boost in rating. The Brazilian link is still there for Edison. That gives us full chemistry and takes us, I think, to a 94 once we swap around here. Not quite yet. We can get a 128 out of this, I reckon, though. Next up, Ferran Torres with that striker roll. Yes, please. 97, Ferran goes in over Zola. Swaps with Papa. We do lose a little bit of chemistry there. But it's only on Urkan Kochi and Ederson. Not bad, is it? It's not bad. Another big icon midfielder or something. Didn't get one. We got Van Basten. Doesn't have centre mid, unfortunately. Wonder if we're better off putting Ferguson back in now. No, we are not. We lose loads of chemistry. Ferguson in there. So two more picks to go. We get Kadioglu 94. He doesn't get into the team either, mind you, but does get onto the bench over Ruben Dish 90. Wow, he's on the reserves. And last, but definitely not least, is 98 Johan Cruyff. Now, for us to start Puskas or Van Basten, we will get Max Kem. I feel like we should do it. Because Papan has other options, nothing. Um, it is a 128. It can't be that far off of a 129 either. This is a cracked out draft. We've got a 99, a 98, three 97s in the starting lineup. And then a really decent bench as well. The fact that we've only got three regular golds here in the whole team is really nice. And that's why I think the 4321 has to be prioritized because it just seems to give, even though it's not the most efficient in the opportunities of getting the 99s, it just it just gives out the best drafts. Let's get into attempt number three. Here we go, guys, with attempt number three. And we have got again the 4-3-2-1 for me. And this time we'll take 94 Muller to start. Come on, EA. Hook me up. 97 pluses here. Don't give me Zola. Okay, we've got 95 Cruyff. We will take him. And alongside them will be Zola. Lovely. In at centre mid. Wow, Marcos Llorente. Joao Neves and Ugarte there as well. Not bad. I like Llorente because he's got the right back, which is very good. Unbelievable. 99 sour for that midfield. This draft's actually looking good. Give me Beckham now and I'll be very happy. All right, do you know what? I know he's got a little bit of a high-rated card, but Leon Goretzka, very, very good as well. Because now we've got a guaranteed top-tier like defender if we need to. We could do. We could certainly do with like one massive upgrade on Zola, and then maybe an upgrade on one of the other two forwards. The midfield's like cooking. We just need this defense to be good to us, and we've got a chance. We're starting with Cucurella, Suazo, and I like Cucurella a lot because he's got centre back as well, and the Spanish links with Llorente. Oh wow! Oh wow! Ninety-eight Rio Ferdinand. Accompanied with 95 footies premium Koulibaly. Go on, Frimpong. No, he can't come. He can't come. Don't worry, he can't come. He can't come. We'll take uh, Juicy Lucy for right back. And then in goal. Wow. This is a 95 rated draft already. Zola and Bronze need to be upgraded. 
and then the 95s to improve on as well could be really good. But this draft is exceptional. And that's that's even that, that's nice as well. 94 for the bench is a good start. 90 Collair brings it down a bit. That's 299s. And that is our right back upgraded. Oh, guys, this is huge. Come on. And we get a third 99 in this draft. Man, this draft is huge. Falling apart, isn't it? We need we need this big attacker upgrade. That is not it. I'm on EA. Okay, 97 Ruben Dish is insane. It goes in over Cooley Bally. We are still 95 rated, and this bench is not great. We really need to replace Zola. Really. Oh my days. Guys, this could be it. If this is already a 96. Oh, it's not. If that was a 96, I feel like we could have done it. This is huge. Give me another 99, EA. I dare you. Okay, 94 for Amino is really tidy. Come on, just tick to a 96 already. No, I needed it. I needed it early. I needed it by now already. I don't even think Acuna gets on the bench. He doesn't. Oh, th th this is this is massively disappointing. Harry Kane just about squeezes onto the bench. I can't believe that that isn't a one two nine. I was ready for that to be the one thirty. We have two 99s, a 98, and three 97s in the starting lineup. We don't have any low-rated cards on the bench. Sorry, on the, on the starting lineup. We've got a 94, two 94s and a 95 on the bench. The fact that this isn't a 129 is crazy sad. We really, really, really needed like another 99 and 98 to even get any chance of getting closer to 130. What a draft that is, though. 299s. Wouldn't it have been nice if we actually got 399s in a draft as well? We didn't, but that is our biggest, biggest draft. I actually think that's probably the biggest starting 11 we might have ever had. It's just the bench that brought the rain down. Obviously, we've hit 129s before. That was only a 128. But I do think that that might be one of the biggest starting 11s we have ever had. What a draft. All right. The third. No, the fourth. And final attempt. Let's go 4 3 3 attack for this one. Start with Voller up front, not ideal. Come on. Big boys here. Big boys here. Oh, 94 Jaden Sancho. 92 Steve McManaman. Ninety uh, I know De Bruyne has a 98, but we don't see it often. We'll take 96 De Bruyne. I don't mind that. Take Deli Ali in there as well. And we'll take Ferguson as well. This, this draft, this is why the 4 3 2 1 is so good, man. This draft is just not it. We'll take Caddy Oglu there. Struggles for chemistry, mind you. 92 Maldini. It's the first time we've seen a Maldini at this draft, I believe. We've got 89 Renard. We don't even see her 98. And I thought she would be like one of the common ones in draft. Then we've got 96, Joshua Kimmich. Not too shabby. And then in goal, it's just Mamadashvili. The new Liverpool goalkeeper. Goalkeeper number two. Thank God for Yashin there. That was a dead pick. That's six bonus chem points, which is really nice. But... Draft is... Uh, not cooking, is it? Right, let's put Krumbijel in over Ferguson. What with Kimmich... Get a little boost in chemistry. Just a, just one extra chem point there, but not too bad. But on a battle, have we got Spanish? No. Do we want to take instead Charles? We've got English with Deli Ali, an icon link with the two icons, 
and an English link with Jaden Sancho and Steve McManaman. Charles will give us more chemistry there. We get a little plus one and we're only one one link away from full chem on her. Mirislav Klotha can go in there and we'll swap those around. That's now 29 chemistry. Not taking that name up. I've never seen his 99 in draft, but just in case. We'll pop Pushkas up top. That should give us full chem. Oh, we're still uh, short on Renard and De Bruyne. That's interesting. I thought De Bruyne would have been golden by now. Uh, Carolyn Nicoli at right wing. Don't like it. Melito at striker. Would be good for Ferguson, but I don't like it. We'll take uh, we'll take the ninety six. We lose like significant chemistry. We don't. We only lose one. Wow. Team McManaman on the bench then. Dead pick there. Wow. What a selection. Dembele ninety eight, who we never see, and Hansen ninety nine, who we also pretty much never see, but he will go into the team now. I kind of wish I took. Um, on a battle team of the year because the Barcelona links and the icons would have been enough there to have to have boosted that chemistry up very tidily. We will take uh, a rude boy there, and I think we're going to take out Krunbrigel now for Miroslav Closer and put Joshua Kimmich back at right back. That gets us to 31 chemistry. Um, what else can we do? Ferguson doesn't fit back into the team. No, no, like I could put McManaman in over De Bruyne, which would get us full chemistry, but obviously would sacrifice some rating, which I don't really want to do. We've got Bobby Firmino. He goes on over Deli Alley. Well, we've certainly seen a lot of high rated cards today, guys, but it still wasn't enough to build our draft up. Do anything more than a 95 rated, which is a bit savage, but that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.